Hello, hello! And if you guys are new, hi, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of a short mini haul of new releases. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what these beauties are, shall we? There's one that's a little damaged in the middle. I don't know exactly what happened to it. I know I didn't do it. I just bought it from the bookstore and that's a little sad, but um you know what? We're going to try and uh help it fix it a little, maybe. And when we read it, be careful because uh like I said, I didn't do it to the book. And I'm surprised the person who checked it out didn't notice there was something wrong with her pages. So, that, like I said, that's disappointing, but it's still my copy, you know? I want to keep it. I paid for it. Yeah. So, like I said, without further ado, here's this new release day. Well, some of them are new releases that came out today. Some from before, but they're just what I got today, and I'm super excited about it. Normally, I'd wait a while to do a book haul, but like I said, I'm super excited for about these releases since I heard about them, and I just have to brag about them, okay? It's one of those videos, and it's something I normally don't technically do, but we're going to change it up this month. So... The first book I've seen on Twitter, and once you see the cover, you'll know why it had my attention. And it's a fantasy, and I need me some more fantasies with this in the book. And that is Fireborn by Rosa Munda. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly, but we do definitely try. And... It's got a freaking dragon on the cover. Can we take a moment? We love some dragons on this channel. At least I do. And I just don't have enough books about dragons. And I got two books in this book haul that have dragons in them. My little heart is set. And... There's not much on the cover when it's naked, but that spine, though, we like some good spines. <sighs> Satisfying. Why are we like this? We may never know, folks. We may never know. But let me say what's on the back, and then we'll read the description inside the book cover as well. Today it begins. Today we will rise. That reminds me of something. What does that remind me of? Sit here for like 15 minutes trying to figure that out. Okay, we'll come back to that. Maybe. And Annie and Lee were just children when a brutal revolution changed their world. Giving everyone, even the low-born, a chance to test into the governing class of dragon writers. There's dragon writers in this book. Sign me the heck up. Like I said, I need more books with dragons in my life, okay? That's not a crime. Moving on. Now they are both rising stars in the new regain despite backgrounds that couldn't be more different. Annie's a lowborn family was executed by a dragon fire, while Lee's aristocratic family was murdered by revolutionaries. That's both painful and brutal for both of them. I feel for them right now. Growing up in the same orphanage forged their friendship, and seven years of training have made them rivals for the top position in the dragon riding fleet. 
but everyone changes when survivors from the old region surface bent on reclaiming the city. With war on the horizon and his relationship with Annie changing fast, Lee must choose to kill the only family he has left or betray everything he has come to believe in. And Annie must decide whether to protect the boy she loves ooh, or step up to be the champion her city needs. Excuse me, now that sounds really good. So that's what captured my attention, besides, you know, the big, obvious reason. We're moving on. Alright, the next book I'm so freaking excited about, because I loved her first book called The Wicked Deep. Now, if you already know that book I'm talking about, you might know this author's next book I'm going to be talking about, because like I said, I'm super excited about it, and of course that is Winterwood by Shia Earnshaw, and the cover to the back of this book, oh my god, it's, I can't right now, you guys, it's, oh. Gorgeous. The Walker women of Fear Haven have always lived in the woods. Some say the first Walker woman came into the forest, her bones built of roots and thorns as she sprouted up from the ground. This is where their legacy began, a strange and mythical legacy rooted in rumors and folklore. Over the years, there have been many tales of Walker women. Most have, most have been lost stories, forgotten fables, and myths washed away with the spring rains. This one such tale, or this story is one such tale. Wow, my bad. It was once scattered like autumn leaves buried in the soil, stitched there until it arose until something stirred it loose, until the forest shuddered and opened its eyes. What? But yes, this book I forgot to mention will also be on my TBR for this month, so now that I have it in my hands, there's what it's about, and like I said, the cover on this is gorgeous, both like I said, on the cover and underneath, I'm I'm here for it, you guys. Totally here. All right, take a check of this real quick. The next book that I need to get to after I finish the rest of the first book, she says. And I picked up The Name of All Things by Jen Loins. This is, the, like I said, this is the second book to The Ruins, The Ruins of Keynes. Wow. It's been a day and I'm still trying to fight this cold, so bear with me. But all you need to know is that it follows a prince named Kieran Demon. And like I said, this is a second book, so I don't want to give it too much away, but I will say, you can have everything you want if you sacrifice everything you believe in. What if mon What if you were the monster? Hmm. Now, all I can tell you about this Karen is that he's funny. And, well, he's funny in the first one, and I'm sure he's funny in this one too, but... He's very, like, sarcastic, and I just love his character. I need to read more about him so I can get to this one as soon as possible. Like, maybe next month or so. We're gonna try. But, yes. He's just, he's so hilarious, and when he finds out that he's the missing prince, and his father is, like, really abusive, like... How is he related to him? 
when his father is just so cruel. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those things. So we're going to move on from this precious book. Because I do have one more book that actually came out today. And that is The Guinevere Deception by Kristen White. Now all I know about this is that it's an, a retelling of King Arthur and Camelot. And I need me some more stories about King Arthur and like the round table. And of course Guinevere because she's part of Camelot too. And you're all ready to see it. Take me to Camelot. Anyway, let me read you the description on what this book is about. Princess Guinevere has come to Camelot to wed the stranger, the charismatic King Arthur. Boom it on. With magic coin at the kingdom's borders with the great wizard Merlin, conjured a solution to send in Guinevere to be Arthur's wife. Wow, when you have a cold trying to say Arthur, sounds like author. <laughs> it is really weird and I apologize. And his protector from those who want to see the young king Atlantic City fail. Wow, that's a tongue twister. The catch. Guinevere's real name, her true identity, is a secret. She is a challenging girl who has given up everything to protect Camelot. To keep Arthur safe, Guinevere must navigate a court in which the old, including Arthur's own family, demand that things continue as they have been. And the new, those drawn by the dream of Camelot fight for a better way to live. And always in the green hearts of the forest and the black depths of the lakes, magic lies in to wait to reclaim the land. Arthur's knights believe they are strong enough to face any threat. But Guinevere knows that it will take more than swords to keep Camelot safe safe. Deadly, as I was rudely cut off, let me finish this end here. Deadly just duplicates knights and forbidden romances are nothing compared to the greatest threat of all. The girl with the long knotted black hair riding on horseback through the dark woods towards Arthur. Because when your whole existence is a lie, how can you even trust yourself? The first book in the Camelot Rising Trilogy. Ooh, now that, it's, now that I know it's a trilogy, I'm more excited. And then the blurb on the back. There was nothing in the world as magical and terrifying as a girl. And you bet. Alright. And there you guys have it. Ooh, if I can hold them back up without them dropping. A miracle. We know. But these are the books that I got for today. Some of them, like I said, are on the new release day. Which are... These two beauties. And then... These two are somewhat recently new. This came out, like... At the end of October, this has been out for a little bit. So, if any of these sound as interesting to you, definitely go ahead and pick them up because they are now out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Sorry, it was kind of a little bit all over the place. I try not to be, but... What can we do? Anyway, and if you guys are new here, go ahead and, you know, hit that little subscribe right down there and if you like the video go ahead and give it a like and hit the notifications because you don't want to miss further videos from me and that's pretty much all I got for today's video bye guys